We are starting a new series here based on high school physics. We'll talk about introducing each little part of physics here, and we want to start, before we get anywhere else, understanding the metric system. Now, this is not the boring, here's a number, there's a number thing. What I want to accomplish is to give everybody a feel for some basic ideas of the metric system. What is a kilometer? What is a centimeter? If you're doing a lab and you did something on your lab table and it's six meters long, that's probably the wrong measurement. You know, if you're telling me you're going, you have something, you know, Hot Wheels car that went like seven kilometers a second. No, it's probably wrong. So let's get a basic idea of some of the basic um, types and uses of metric system in our physics class. So the four things that come up the most are length, volume, mass, and time. All right, and length is going to be measured in the metric system by meters, okay, M. Volume is measured in liters, uh, capital L. It's not a lowercase, capital L. Sometimes you see centimeters cubed in chemistry class. Mass is measured in grams. In physics class, we'll often just go with kilograms, right? Gram is the base unit, but you'll see things measured in kilograms because we're dealing with things in the real world. And so kilogram is going to be most useful for us, especially when we do a little more complex units where we combine two units at once and things like that. Time is still measured in second, no problem there. Now, they come in different sizes. You put a prefix in front of your metric system measurement to talk about how big or small it is. Small things are going to have a micro or a milla or a cent in front of it. Big things would have a kilo or a mega or a giga or whatever in front of it. All right, so a meter would be the basic unit or a liter or a gram. If you put a micro in front of it, that becomes a very small meter, a small gram, very small compared to a meter or a gram. A micrometer is one millionth of size. So a pill that has a microgram in it is a very tiny amount and be a you know, powerful medicine because you only need a little bit of it. Now, milla will come up more often. So millimeter, milligram, not so much, but millimeter, right? And that's a thousandth of a meter. So millimeters are small compared to a meter. They're a thousandth of a meter. A cent should be easy for anybody who knows American money because a cent is one one hundredth of a dollar. One hundred cents make a dollar. And that's the same in the metric system. One hundred centimeters make a dollar. Well, it makes a meter, right? So if I have one centimeter, that is going to be one hundredth of a meter. If I have a meter, I have a hundred centimeters. Getting bigger, you have a thousand. A kilo is a thousand of something. So a kilogram is a thousand grams. A kilometer is a thousand meters. And then you get bigger and go mega. Uh, we aren't going to see that much. The micro and the mega come in later. We talk about electricity. They come in a little bit, but that's a million uh, of whatever it is. A megawatt is a million watts. A megameter is a million meters. Nobody does that, but you, know, you could. Okay, examples. All right, this is just rough examples. They're not going to be perfect, but if you're talking about the thickness of your fingernail, you might want to use the uh, measure it in millimeters. One fingernail in thickness is about a millimeter. That's not perfect, roughly that. So if you're talking about seven millimeters, you're thinking about, oh, is that seven times thicker than my you know, fingernail? Something like that. Okay, then we've got centimeters. All right, a centimeter is the width of your fingernail. Right, from one edge to the other, looking down on it, maybe your pinky's best is one centimeter, right? So if you look at all your fingers in your hand, you're gonna see that's gonna be four-ish centimeters, probably a little more, but it'll be like that, okay? A meter is about the width of a doorway. So if I point at the doorway, you're gonna say that's about a meter. Or if I say, show me something that's about a meter, and you go, ah, width of that door. So you've got you know, three meters, that's gonna about be three doorways wide, all right? Kilometers are getting pretty big, all right? A kilometer is about once around our school here, including the parking lots. It'll be a few times around, uh, it'll be around a racetrack, you know, kind of thing, a couple times. A large city block is a kilometer, okay? That's a lot of doorways, a thousand doorways, okay, to get around school. So that's a kilometer. We could do other units besides meters. A two liter bottle is great for our purposes because a two liter bottle is, yes, two liters. I know that's amazing. If you cut it in half, the top half would be a liter and the bottom half would be a liter. So a liter is about a half of a two liter bottle. I know that's a reach. 
But what's beautiful about it is one liter of water, and thus one liter of soda, is about a kilogram. So a two liter bottle is about two, two kilogram, same time, okay? So a liter bottle, if you got a liter bottle, they're around, it would be about a kilogram, okay? Uh, two pounds-ish is about a kilogram, a little bit more than two pounds, but we're not worried about it. Grams, a paper clip is a gram, very small, okay? A penny is two and a half grams already. So if you're measuring your little brother, you're not measuring him in pennies, I hope. You're measuring him in something larger than a gram, probably kilograms, all right? A stick of gum is about a milliliter, right? What's a milliliter? We know a liter, it's like half a two liter bottle. A stick of gum is about one milliliter in volume. Now that could be the long, it turns out that long, thin kind of stick of gum is about a milliliter, just like the little cubes of gum, which are also about a milliliter. So that's about a milliliter in size. Okay, let's review. I'm going to say something, and you have to think to yourself, that's about that size. So if I say a millimeter, that's about the same size as the width of the thickness of your thumbnail, right? So if you're in class and I said, show me a millimeter, you'd stick your thumb at me and show me the thickness of your fingernail, okay? If I said, what's a meter in class, you would point to the doorway, okay? If I say, show me a centimeter, you'd be like, boom, width of my fingernail, all right? A gram, that's like a paper clip, right? It's a paper clip. If I want a kilogram, that's going to be like half a two liter bottle, all right? A millimeter again, ah, going back, and that is going to be like the thickness of your fingernail again, all right? And liter, boom, half a two liter bottle. Spell it weird if you're not American, you know, it's great. A centimeter again, boom, width of your finger. All right, that's all you got to know. So your lab reports will not have like, 12 meter long measurements because that doesn't fit on our lab table. All right, good deal.